Hi gang, Scott here. I've got a quick tip for you in Lightroom for using the dehaze slider to cut the glare off of, in my case, reflections off of water, but anything that's throwing up a lot of glare. You know, normally we use a polarizer for this and either maybe you don't have one with you or uh, in the case that I have here, I purposely didn't use the polarizer to completely remove the glare. I've got this photo here, yeah, not one of my strongest, but uh, the, um, the thing I liked about it was just some of the shapes going on in the water. And if I use the polarizer and cut all of the glare down here, it, the, the photo got very messy and you know just too chaotic because these cool shapes that were really being made by these tide pools wasn't coming through. You know, imagine just cutting through and seeing nothing but you know the the, you know, the, the seaweed and the little creatures down there, uh, as cool as they may be. So um, let me show you the before and after here, and then I'll explain what uh, what happened to make the change. So here's before, and I said purposely didn't use the polarizer to cut the glare, but this became ah, this is too much. This is just too distracting in the foreground. And then after just toning it down some so I can see somewhat through that water and see there's some interesting things there, but I'm not losing the nice shapes that these brighter things are making. So how are we achieving that result? Let's hide that pen. I'll get nice and big here. Using a graduated filter, and let me find my pin. Here it is. And I'll notice uh, I have a couple of things going on here. I've got a luminance mask to prevent affecting the shadows. I don't need to add any haze reduction to the shadows. And ah, oh, there's that little Lightroom bug again. Let me hover over this so we see those, those little arrows show in the right place. There we go. And uh, adding texture, adding clarity, and a healthy amount of dehaze. That's really the magic of cutting through the glare. Turn off the dehaze, put it back in, that's the change. That's the one that really made the difference. You know, before, like the shapes, it's just still too bright. My eye is getting pulled back and forth, ping-ponging between the bottom and the top of the frame, and I'm not staying in the frame. I'm not just landing anywhere. After, lets me meander around a little more, and I'm not getting distracted as much. And so that is the tip, just the dehaze slider. You can use that to cut down glare. Pair it up with your masking tools. You don't have to apply it globally. In this case, I didn't want to have dehaze happening everywhere. I like that sky all misty and hazy there. It's kind of cool looking. So uh, that's a tip. I got nothing else to say about it. If you have questions, go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.